Watch one of your vids earlier with the light we ever missed re rebuild. Do you still think it's solid? Yeah, for sure. Should still stick to Mistweaver and Divine Image. Still only here uh, in keys up to 16-ish. Um, so what I would recommend with that, the way the way that I described it yesterday and the way I like to think about it is um, the uh, Miracle Worker Lightweaver build is is like comfort fast food. It's it's like it's a it's comfortable. It's it's very nice. If you don't know what's going on in pugs, especially like you're saying in that like 16 ish range, I would definitely run the Miracle Worker and Lightweaver build. This build right here. Uh, I'm gonna recommend different talents though. I'm gonna change that up and import it differently on my spreadsheet, but um, I, I would definitely recommend this build for just like you know gearing and pugging and stuff like that. Uh, and then the Miracle Worker Divine Image build pulls ahead in the higher keys because you you actually get damage benefit. Um, the Miracle Worker Lightweaver build it doesn't have any benefit for damage, whereas this provides some extra healing with Divine Image. Um, you could see there my uh, my healing. I had a good amount. Ten percent of my healing was from Divine Image, um, and so uh, it does provide a lot of extra healing and stuff. But it also benefits damage, and you gain some more CDR as well. So it pairs well with Miracle Worker because you're getting extra CDR from running both Light of the Naru, Naru and Harmonious. Whereas with this Miracle Worker build, you can only really afford to run one or the other. And I, I prefer Harmonious because the playstyle fits better with uh, actually using your palms to reset your, your holy words. Uh, see the Mistweaver Lightweaver in action with comms or disc only switched to holy uh, about a week or so ago because you're running into Walls' disc. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can, uh, I can do that. I like that build a lot. It's comfortable. Okay. And then again, changing it a little bit. I think in my, uh, my Holy Priest Mythic Plus video, I had going down to Angelic Bulwark. I need to update that. It's really better to grab improved fade and like some magic resistance and stuff. And pull, Angelic Bulwark is okay. It's just, it's it's pretty lame. 90 second cooldown, 30% health. Oh no, 15% of your maximum health once every 90 seconds and you have to go below 30% to proc it. Ooh. I mean, it's better than nothing, but Champion, may I have a word with you? you know, it's it's more passive, it's easier. The improved fade you have to remember to actually push it uh, more often you gotta be fading a lot to actually make it worthwhile so I guess it's not bad that it was recommended in the video because it is the it, I guess it is a little bit more learner friendly to use angelic bulwark Another Sanctify here. I didn't have anything to pair it with, though, so that was probably not a good play. Oh, I'm not even running... I'm not running Divine Image. Sorry, ignore everything that I just said about Divine Image. I'm thinking last key. You can see how once you get used to Miracle Worker, you don't need... You don't need uh, Light Weaver. Like, I have not used Light Weaver benefits at all yet. I haven't needed to. It's going to come in handy on, like, some of the bosses. There's some moments where, you know, I really need some extra throughput. I'm out of holy words and stuff like that. But, like, once you get really comfortable with things, you don't need it at all. I haven't, I haven't, I think I just cast my first regular heal. So, sorry, I'll play more Miracle, or Worker Lightweaver build stuff. But I think that's a good, it's a good demonstration that you don't, you don't really need Light Weaver when you get more comfortable with things. Hey. Hey. Nice and easy. There, I was just kind of cycling through, using Serenities when I could. Um, and then just using Light Weaver healing. Like, these are the moments where Light 
weaving is really nice. You don't really need it on trash, but the light weaving portion of the build is, is nice for these bosses. It has more value as a DPS. Oh, we're pulling all of this. Okay. It's go time. So here I'm a little caught off guard, so I'm, I'm using... I didn't need Apotheosis there. But it's okay. It's gonna be fine. I do want to make sure that I actually get good value out of this, though. This is kind of a scary fight for Holy, so I gotta make sure that I'm being wise with this. Ah! See, I just wasted my Divine Hem. I, can't, I cast it and I immediately had to cancel it. Nice, we cancelled that. Gonna use my, uh, whatchamacallit, my, uh, Shadow Fiend for some extra mana. Here I'm, uh, getting ready for the next bit of damage. I've got both of my Serenities ready. I'm gonna use it on myself, use it on the Shadow Priest, and then we're gonna start using Lightweaver healing on everybody else. They're out of line of sight. I can't really take advantage of... Can't really take advantage of uh, Holy Nova in this fight. We do have two battle reses, so he's coming up. He's low. He's out of line of sight. Like, got nothing here. Wasn't comms. I'd be telling him to pop a health pot, but gotta make do. Apotheosis proc, that's going to be life-saving here, literally. So I want to end this with both of my Serenities at a minimum. Very nice. Get my damage out real quick. So there, I Desperate Prayered myself. Don't go out of my line of sight! Shadow Priest! Okay, and we're gonna use Symbol of Hope here for everybody's defenses. Woo! <laughs> Little close. Okay, and we got Apotheosis. Life is good. Best repair myself. Yeah, we're riding easy now. Would you say that DI has more value as a DPS bonus than as a heal bonus? Um, so it's it's that it has any DPS bonus. I think is the is the key. Is it necessarily better than uh, than Living uh, Lightweaver? I don't know. Um, but like I, like I was saying. A lot of the dungeon, I haven't needed Light Weaver at all. So with some more intentional usage on my, uh, uh, you know, holy words and stuff like that, I could totally get along without it, especially with the extra healing that comes from Divine Image. So I don't know if it's necessarily that DI is more of a damage concern. It's just that it's just as good of a healing concern, and it's for the most part passive, and it doesn't have conflicting playstyles. Like, it's nice to have both uh, Light Weaver and Miracle Worker, but it's... Once you're used to it, it's it's not really necessary. You don't understand what it does fully. So anytime you use a Holy Word, whether that's Chastise or Sanctify or Serenity, healing, damage, whatever, it summons that little Naru dude. And he... Uh, he has an extra ability that he'll cast that's similar to the ability that you cast. So if you use a direct target heal, he'll also heal that target with a direct target heal. If you cast like, you know, d uh, Divine Star or some kind of AoE heal, like Prayer of Healing or something like that, he will cast an AoE heal that hits all the al all allies and stuff, five allies. Um, if you use a damage ability like Smite, he'll, c he'll use a direct damage ability on that same target. So it's pretty much just bonus value for, I think it's like 10 seconds after you pop uh, a holy word. 
and then what it does is it stacks. It doesn't refresh the duration, so say for example you pop one holy word and you got 10 seconds, and then two seconds later you pop another holy word, you'll have double benefit for, what is it, like eight seconds? And then two seconds on the second one that you popped, you'll uh, you'll only have one. I think I mathed that out. Sorry, that was uh, wrong on stream, but you get the point. I hope it doesn't refresh the duration. It just oh, I overlapped the PI there. So that's why I was paying attention to it so that I could get um, that so I could get extra benefit and stuff like that. So while I had you know two or three procs or something of that of the. Uh, of the divine image, I wanted to use all of my uh, big damage abilities. Okay, so here we're a little scary. Here's the big damage. I got the charge. Dang it. Okay, we're dead here. Okay, nice. Didn't have to use mine. The charge sucks. Okay, and we're gonna prep this with the divine hymn. There we go. So there we. Oh, 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 oh. Empowered. Oh, I overlapped... freaking A. Overlapped PI again. I don't like running with a Shadow Priest. I have to pay attention. <laughs> um, so you can see my damage difference between the last key and this key. Like, uh, granted, this key has the chains and stuff like that, so it's not... It's, it's, it's gonna be less damage regardless, because I've got all those, but... Um, the chains are taking up my opportunities to do damage, but you can see right here 26k compared to my last one, which was about 30 something. Nelf Lair was, yeah, 39, so quite a bit more. So you can see the you can see the damage benefit and why that would be a big deal and people that are pushing super high keys, but as far as the healing and damage breakdown, damage breakdown I believe was the same as the Neltheris. Or Netherian's Lair? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So, pretty much the same damage breakdown, except you're adding in that extra 10% from Divine Image. And then my healing breakdown, this was from the Netherian's Lair 24. And then this is from the current. So, very different. A lot more Serenity healing with the Miracle Worker DI build. And then here in Neltheris... You can see uh, Prayer of Mending got a little bit more value. There's just a lot more ticking damage in this dungeon, so with the bosses I could see how that would be it, but adding in the heal and stuff like that. So, But that was the Miracle Worker and, uh, and Lightweaver build.